everybody, welcome back. This is Gina. Um, I've got another journal to share with you guys. This is the last journal of the Nick the Booksmith style um, that I'm probably going to be making or have made. I just recently, I've got one of these for myself and then I recently found another bit of this fabric um, which was an Edith Holden pillow sham um, that they sold here in the UK back in the 80s is what I've been told and I thought I had used all of it and during one of my cleanups I found just enough to do another journal and I had the uh, rest of the supplies so here it is because I know a lot of um, People have asked me about this, and as I said, I kept one myself because I love it. It's just beautiful fabric um, to work with. But here it is. A slight different uh, difference with this. I have not embellished this journal inside. This is a five signature. I have added um, just the book plate to the front because I didn't want to do anything that took away from this. So this is definitely for somebody who wants to use this as a journal and fill it themselves. And you can see there's going to be a lot of room that you can expand this. This has got the hidden spine so that when you're journaling this will lay completely flat. Um, as we go through, I'm going to share, there's a couple of little things I've added in here for you, but I have had some pockets and things, but we'll just very quickly flip through. So I've just added that on the front. This is a complete mix of papers, tea dye papers, like I said, pockets here and there, old vintage pages. You know, just a, a real mix of everything. I've got some tracing paper here. So, <clears throat> there's a lot of writing space and a lot of room to add more um, pockets and tucks and things. So that's the difference with this. I just didn't have time to go through and embellish this one. Here's another pocket I made. So there are a few pockets throughout. Now this I have added. This is the probably the couple of tags in here and then a couple of these journal cards. That I added to it. But other than that, it's only going to have a few pockets. And then on the back I did do this large pocket so that things could be added there as well. And then there's, um, actually no, does that, hmm, I think I did leave that. Yes, there's a pocket back here, but it's quite snug there. Okay, so this journal is going to be up for sale. This is a Five and three quarter by eight and a half with a two and three quarter inch spine. <clears throat> I've also included this package of handmade ephemera and vintage. So there's just a real mix of things that I've made. These are original um, cabinet cards. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then embellishments that I've made so that you could, here's one of my fabric altered uh, index cards, so that you could <clears throat> add to this since I hadn't embellished it. I just thought it'd be kind of fun to add these as well. So there's a, a big selection of those included. So I've just named this one Edith because of the Edith Holden fabric. So that's going to be in my shop, guys. If you're interested, you can pop on over there. The shop is in the description box below. Thank you so much for joining me. You guys have a great day, and I'll see you soon.